Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're going to go hands on with iOS 12's new group FaceTime feature. <laughs> To activate a group FaceTime call, there are actually a couple of ways to achieve this. For starters, you can open up the FaceTime app and begin to type the names into the to field that you wish to have the call with. Alternatively, if you're already inside of a group chat in the Messages app, you can tap on the names at the top of a group chat and select FaceTime from the drop down menu. Now, if somebody else initiates a group FaceTime call, you will receive a push notification instructing you to join the FaceTime call. If a FaceTime call is already in progress, you can tap the Join button directly inside of the group chat in the Messages app. Once you're inside of a group FaceTime call, you'll notice that the setup is slightly different, with each individual now receiving their own tile-like area, and tapping on a person's tile will bring them to the forefront. This is especially prevalent with larger group FaceTime calls, and in our test, tapping on another tile did sort of push your own tile out of the way and behind the other person, and since this is a beta, it's unclear whether or not this is a bug or if it's intentional. At the bottom, you do have access to your effects camera, which is the star-like icon in the bottom left corner. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the effects camera, we actually did a whole video about the effects camera in messages, which will be linked below, but all of your effects like Animoji and Memoji, filters, text, shapes, and stickers will all be available to use during a FaceTime call. Clearly, our favorite to test out was our own Memojis, and if this is something that you think you might use a lot, consider an iPhone stand or propping your elbows up on a table, because your Memojis head is so big that in order to fit the whole thing in the frame, you need to really extend your arms out, which can be a bit draining. Now the red X will obviously end the FaceTime call, and the ellipsis in the bottom right corner brings up the rest of your FaceTime options, like effects, flipping the camera, mute, speaker, turning your camera on or off, or if you'd like to add more people to the FaceTime call, there is an add person button located at the bottom of the screen. Overall, group FaceTime worked very well with three people. It was pretty seamless to start a group FaceTime call, and I look forward to seeing how this feature will evolve over the next coming months or years. Let us know what you think of group FaceTime in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.